Summer School 2004, the Iridology and Natural Medicine class. This is the introductory lecture where I really love to present a wide spectrum of iridology, of my own discoveries, and also introduce you to some of the work of some of the amazing teachers in the world of iridology. So we're going to look at a lot of beautiful images. We're going to rest our eyes from time to time on a flower or some sort of sacred geometry pattern. And we're going to prepare to be able to really look at eyes and begin to discover all the amazing levels of information that you can receive, you know, physically, socially, yes, even how you process life socially, emotionally, mentally, and even the karmic, spiritual destinies. I mean, it is an amazing field. So this is um, my eyes, which we are beginning a lecture with here. And my eyes changed a lot. That's how I discovered iridology, because as a child, I had what you call hazel eyes. They looked quite brown, they had a lot of yellow, they had a lot of green, they had a lot of markings on them. And while I still do have some yellow kidney pigments and just a little bit of pancreas pigments and a couple of very, very tiny pigmentations, you know, here and there, which are more in, in the range of the melanin color, the liver color, the dark brown, tiny little ones, Mostly my eye now is blue. When I did my first cleanse at Healing Waters in the early 70s where I did, you know, the living food for the first time in a 40-day fast and all the juices and all the, you know, saunas and steams and exercise, when I came back to work at the spa that winter, everyone just looked at me and said, your eyes have turned blue. And so that was my, how I sparked my interest. I just thought, if my eyes could change color, and so, but that is a very controversial point in the world of iridology, to how much eyes change. And I have seen eyes change enormously because the naturopathic process and the herbal process that we do with purification, regeneration, and transformation, the eyes change naturally. But if you don't do purification, if you heal with other modalities, if you use homeopathy and so on, you can get healing, yes, you certainly can. But it's very different. You do not experience the levels of... Um, mm. So anyway, there's a whole world of personal experience behind my own eyes that I like to share so that you really understand that my first experience was transforming the color of my eyes. And my vision completely... I had worn glasses since nine years old. And after that 40-day cleanse, when my eyes turned blue and I had all these experiences, and I started to see the world for the first time. I didn't need glasses until I was 55. But later on, it also will go over my eyes um, another day, and I'll tell you about the immune reactive constitution and some of the other aspects of it, but we'll move on for now. Resting our eyes on the unfolding rose, which I really believe is the key of transformation is to understand that you're continuously unfolding. And the more that you cooperate with the process of unfolding, the more you realize of yourself. Instead of holding yourself back, you keep moving forward. Truth is never revealed all at once, but petal by petal. Mm -hmm. Unfolding petals showing their beauty, their design, and so on. And also the, um, the messages in water. We actually went to see the movie last night, What the Bleak Do We Know? And they have this yeah. incredible scene where the lady is in the subway and she just misses her, her train. And there's a display of messages from water and how thought transforms the, the crystalline patterns just as if they were snowflakes. Makes you wonder what's happening up in the universe when all the snowflakes become crystals. You know, because here, thought has transformed and created this absolutely beautiful pattern of transformation. And so to incorporate that into the world of iridology by how we purify, how we cleanse, how we transform, we actually change the crystalline patterns of our thoughts, of our feelings, of our bodies, and so on. So we resonate with these truths of the universe. 